everybody. Welcome back to Rocky Mountain Homestead. Today, I decided to do a big Sam's Club pickup order online. We are out of a lot of things in our home, like completely out of. So I had to do a pretty good size restock of a lot of things in our home. I did a community post a couple days back saying that we're going to get a Costco membership. I just did not have time to walk through the store. So that's why I had to do a pickup order with Sam's. And you guys have given me a lot of great ideas of some products that I want to try out from Costco. So I'm going to be doing a big Costco haul next month, but this, I just kind of had to get squared away with things and I did not have time to go through the store today. So I got a Sam's Club order mixed with a couple things from Walmart just to kind of restock our home a little bit. So it's been like a very long time since I went to Sam's Club. I'm going to take you guys along and share what we got. A lot of this is Walmart stuff. I got some bottle brushes because we're out. I actually use these up at the coop for our waters up there for our chickens as well. And then I got a dog brush and another dog brush and some silicone whisks for my cast irons. I got two things of rubbing alcohol. If you guys have not seen my video, I'll leave it down in the description box below. But I do make our everyday cleaners and I am pretty much out of rubbing alcohol. My girls, I got them some nail polish remover. We got some band-aids, some different vitamins for the kids, and then some vanilla extract for some Italian cookies I need to make. I got this because as you can tell, I did take my nails off. I, I had gotten them done for a very, very long time and I just, I'm really sick of them. They're just inconvenient and in my way. And then it's just a waste of time getting them done. Um, I like to get my hands dirty and as a firefighter, I need all the dexterity that I can get. So anyway, that's why they're off and they, I'm keeping them off. I'm just sick of them. I got some children's ibuprofen and some Tylenol because my kids are almost out of what we have. I got these semi-sweet chocolate chunks. This is for a really good coffee cake recipe that I've been doing for years some more nitro gloves. And then these, all my dish towels are like getting holes in them. So Walmart had these. I got two of the kitchen towel sets and two of the dishcloth sets because we, it's been probably a couple years since I replaced those. I got some of the floss picks for my girls and my boys, my kids that basically don't have braces. And then some Q-tips. It's been a long time since I bought those. And then also two, two packs of white distilled vinegar. I use that in my cleaners as well and as fabric softener in our washer. And then over here, I just got from Sam's Club two of the toilet paper things because we are really, really, really low. I also got two boxes of mac and cheese. I have done the Annie's. I have done them all. My kids still only like this. So I, I needed to get it because I make mine homemade and I don't always have the time. So I actually got two boxes of that. And then some veggie straws just with it being summer for quicker lunches or on the go type things. I got some veggie straws. I got some flowers also and my kids brought in the eggs today. So I got to take care of those after this video. I also got two cases of the 24 packs of Purina one wet canned, canned food, wet food, stumbling on my words. And then the Miss Vicky's baked chips. We really like these a lot. And then I did get the kids the Apple and Eve juice boxes. Our drink fridge has been empty since pretty much December of last year and having all the guys here recently doing construction. I didn't have many drinks to offer anybody, so I kind of am restocking that drink fridge. I got a ton of paper plates. I don't know where the other ones are, but we are out of all our paper products, and we don't get them often, but I just like to have them stocked up. These are for the 4th of July. Got some whipped cream for some desserts coming up. Some body armor. They keep these at the fire station. I actually like these a lot. They're really good. And then down below, I got some Gatorades. I got Go-Gurts for the kids just to kind of freeze for them to have when they're playing outside. And then it's been a long time since I got Chibani Flips, so I got that for them as well. I got my girls a new razor with some refills and tissues because all those pine trees across the street, I, there's so much pine pollen coming in. You could wipe the counter after I clean it and it's like green. So absolutely horrible. We needed tissues. I got some hot dog buns for a quick lunch this week and some plastic forks because we were completely out. And then I did get some Nutella and there's the other mac and cheese. I got some milks. I also got some buttermilk because I need to do a soap recipe which has buttermilk in it. I usually make my own, but my kids go through so much milk as it is. I just figured it'd make more sense to just get buttermilk already done and then 
yeah, <laughs> that one dropped in the garage. I got these, some fresh mozzarella from Sam's Club for some calzones that I'm going to be making. I did get two things of this Greek yogurt. I really do like this. I go back and forth from time to time with Azure Standard, and I love their Nancy's yogurt, but I just, I couldn't wait for our order. We still have a couple days on that, so I just got some. In the meantime, it's the honey vanilla Greek yogurt. And then my honeybees need sugar water, so you have to use granulated sugar for that. I got some fig bars. These I've been eating a lot. Actually, I get the ones in the shell usually, but I saw these and figured this would be a little bit quicker for on the go. I usually grab one of the meat sticks from Azure Standard, a string cheese, and that for my lunch if I do eat lunch. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to force myself to have more protein. And then I got these for the kids, just some water balloons to play with when they have their friends over and some heavy whipping cream, two things of orange juice. I did get blackberries. I thought I got two. I guess I got one. I got some blackberries and then some pepperoni. I like the really big pepperoni for the calzones when I make them. And then I got some smaller pepperoni for when we do pizza night and two things of bacon. So the price keeps going up on this right bacon, but we absolutely love it. And in case the price goes up next time, I just figured I'd get two four pound packages and that's the hickory thick bacon. And then for our quick lunch this week, I got the beef franks from Sam's Club. I have a little candy dish in the living room, and I fill it from time to time with different things. So I just got some of these little peppermint bowls to put in there, and then that's the paper bowls and little paper plates. We do have a fifth wheeler. We really are trying to plan a getaway this year, but with the animals, it's hard. So we might be going sometime soon, but I do want to restock our mechanical room with paper plates for, you know, different times when we need them, especially having a lot of company over with how big our family is. And then I got some more powdered sugar because we're out. I got some mayo and I got bananas some avocados, some grapes. I got two things of grapes. I am going to be doing some ribs here coming up. So I got some coleslaw and these mini peppers, the kids like dipped with ranch for lunches. So I did get them that. And then I got this for me, I guess one bit, one bag is like really puffy. I got the uh, Southwest chopped salad. So just a quick thing for me for lunches when I'm home and not running around because that's been my life the past week and a half, two weeks. And then I got some organic spring mix lettuce for salads. I did get another bag of granulated sugar for our honeybees because I just don't like to run out of that. They cannot have the organic cane sugar I usually get from Azure Standard. They just, they can't digest that type of sugar. So it has to be granulated sugar. And then I got the artisan sweet Italian red onions. And then I got two huge bags. Another thing I was going to get from Azure Standard this month, I just don't have time. I've been out of onions actually for two weeks and I can't even cook. Like everything I make pretty much has onions in it quite often. So I need to dehydrate some as well in my dehydrator because we are out of dehydrated onions. I used all my backups and I never let us get that low. So I got two things of onions, one to cook with, one to dehydrate. Got some paper napkins. I did get crushed tomatoes. I am completely out. Guys, my my pantry, got it gets wiped out so quickly. My daughters love this creamy tomato with penne soup. So I just stocked up. I think I got like eight of them. And then, yeah, the crushed tomatoes. This is for my homemade pasta sauce. They finally had these back. I'm so thankful. This is something I used to order many, I don't know, many years ago. But I, I don't know about the puff ones. They didn't have those back then when I ordered them, but they have the built bars and just protein guys, a protein. <laughs> and then we are completely out of paper towels. So I did get two things of this, just paper towels to have on hand for the really yucky things. All right. And then this is crazy. And I'll explain at the end of the video, if you want to hang around, We've got massive amounts of chicken. I don't like Sam's club chicken. I hate their members mark chicken. I've had a really weird mis mysterious looking pieces of chicken from there. I don't buy that brand at all. But that's the only brand they're going to have because they're getting rid of this. This was the very last one I bought everyone in stock of the Farmer's Market Natural Chicken Breast. I, I just did. And it's really not even a lot because one package of this, this is dinner. This is one dinner for us unless I butterfly the chicken breast in half. But this is one, this is one dinner for us. And I think there's two in each pouch. So there's eight all together. And like I do sides with it to fill everybody up. But for a family of 10, this is one dinner. So this really isn't a lot. I think there's like maybe 
15. I don't know what they actually had in stock. I got to count them out. And then I just stocked up on the last of their chicken tenders because this is like a really good quick lunch for kids when you get bored of ideas. There's a couple recipes I do with these chicken tenders, but that's it. That's the last of this brand and I just had to get it. And um, you're probably like, you have chickens. Why? So I'm going to explain. My kids are extremely loud and playing outside. Sorry. And sorry for the echo. My house is clean. <laughs> There's an echo. I actually like it. But anyway, so we have all the chicken and you're probably like, um, well, you have animals. Why, why are you buying that? So that's a question that I've actually gotten quite often. So like I said, one package of chicken, like eight chicken breasts is usually a dinner for us. Eight to 10, to be honest. But if I'm doing sides, I can get away with eight. So eight chicken breasts, right? If I, if I raised four chickens for meat, that's one meal for us of their breasts. Because, like, I do chicken thighs and chicken wing. You know what I mean? Like, chicken breast is mainly what you go for. I do chicken thighs. But it's mainly chicken breast that I use for everything in my recipes. So if I raised four meat chickens, that's one dinner for us to have eight chicken breasts, which is kind of ridiculous because of the cost of feed, right? Like that doesn't even pay off. You That doesn't pay off at all. So we have always wanted to do meat birds, but because of the amount of space we have, if you're new to my channel, you can go back through my videos. I have plenty showing our property and our animals and the setup that we need because we have a ton of mountain lions and a ton of bears and wildlife here, bobcats, everything. And they're like in our, we have a mountain lion that comes through our yard every night at dusk. It's, we have a den right down the road. So everything has to be really locked up and secured and electrified when they're not free ranging. So for the amount of meat birds we would need for our size family, we don't have like flat land and we can't just make makeshift setups to house the animals until they can be processed. But Long story short, we just don't have the space. Our chickens are our egg layers. We don't really even eat them for meat because, like, they get really old by the time, you know, we dispatch them. Like, I will use it for dog food, but I'm not eating that like a five-year-old chicken. We do have a lot of old chickens. I got to downsize to make room. In July, we do have meat birds coming, but we barely can make room for 50 of them. So 50 meat birds, that's really not a lot for our size family. That's go... That's not going to make much difference at all because the main food that I cook with is chicken and like, you know, it just, it, we, we, we don't have the space for how many like meat birds we would actually need for our size family and how often we have chicken in our meals. So with that being said, I did buy it. It's just a space thing. And for how many we would need, we just don't have the space at all. And then you got to also be cost efficient. So does it even make sense with the cost of feed to get 50? No, it'd, be, it'd probably be cheaper to just buy our chicken from Sam's Club, kind of like I did right now. But because we, you know, go through it so quickly and so much, I just figured 50, we'll give it a try. But cost effective, no, it, it would be cheaper to go to the store than raising 50 chicks. Now, as you go up with your increments of chickens that you buy, baby chicks, the price of the chicks individually goes down in cost. And because we're like 7,500, 7,600 feet elevation, you there's certain brands that you can get. So this year, I think I got the McMurray Red. I don't know the name exactly, Red broiler. You can also do like a Delaware broiler at this altitude or the ginger ones. They did not have Delaware this year and they did not have the ginger ones. I called them and asked, but it does have to specifically be altitude friendly because they will definitely die before they get close to their processing date up here where we're at. So I got 50 because that's what they had and we'll give it a go, but it is totally cheaper to just for us personally to just buy it from the store. But I do like knowing what's in my food and how my food's being raised. But anyway, that's my little rant there because a lot of my cat is sneezing. Sorry. He, he must have allergies to the pollen too. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you because a lot of people who are newer are like, well, you have all these farm animals. Why don't you just raise your own meat birds? And that's why we don't have flat land. We can't do chicken tractors. We can't do any of that stuff and we don't want to waste money with our animals getting killed by wildlife here if they're not in a very secure area in our yard. So with all that being said, there's my little rant on that because I know there's a lot of people who just don't understand why are you buying your own chicken and because it is significantly cheaper and I don't have enough space to house 
enough chickens that we would need for our size family. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm really looking forward to doing Costco next month. It's probably going to be like our back to school big haul. I cannot even believe we're talking about school. Guys, we're not even done. I'm still doing school with my kids. Well, some, okay, so our math's done. Like we're wrapped up for the year with math and literature and language arts. Yeah, we're wrapped up with that stuff in spelling and phonics and things like that. It's just history and science we are a little behind on. I didn't start school till October last year because I had Fire Academy and my brain couldn't like study all the things for the online tests and all the things you have to practice and, and know how to do for Fire Academy. So I'm like, we'll start school late and I'm really kicking myself because we're not going to have much of a vacation at all. But anyway, that's a whole nother video because I'm doing school differently next year for the first time in 11 years. So it's going to look different next year, but it's going to work. Anyway, we're still wrapping up our school year. I can't even believe falls right around the corner, but that is probably what the Costco haul is going to be is a back to school type haul and then whatever I need to fill in and some of the products that a lot of people in the comment section thankfully gave me some ideas of different things Costco has. So I'm really looking forward to that. But just with like how much stuff we were out of here, I'm like, we're just going to stock up real quick on some things and then we'll go into Costco and I, they don't do online pickup orders, which I've, I have not walked in the Sam's Club for, I don't know how long I always do pickup orders because I just don't have the time. So that's something, once again, why I chose to do Sam's Club this month for the month of June because I just, I didn't have the time to go into Costco in person, not for the next couple weeks. And my husband certainly cannot take off work right now to go with me. And I kind of wanted him to go with me to do our membership and to look around the store and shop together. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. I do have some videos coming up here and yeah, it's just lot going on, lots of new things. But anyway, I will share that with you in an upcoming video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and God bless.